once again, good morning. good morning. Welcome to Interfaith Spiritual Center Worldwide, where we believe there's a power for good in the universe greater than we are, and we can use it, and we are using it every single day of our lives. And this is why I love our way of life, because we know that nothing happens by chance, that everything is by divine appointment. And that if you're tuned in at this moment, this message is for you. We're here in community, we're intimate, but we can feel there's a power and a presence greater than we are, where the whole becomes greater than the sum of its parts, and the synergistic mind of God is right here, right now, with us. And so this morning we're looking at where thought goes, energy flows, and also the point of power is always in the present moment. This is ancient Hawaiian wisdom. It's Mapia is where it's the where thought goes, energy flows, and the Manawa is the point of power is always in the present moment. And when we look at this energy, you know, Jesus said, now it is high time to awake out of sleep, right? And the energy of God will make us whole. So when we awake out of sleep, in fact, I love what Buddha said when everyone was trying to say, who are you? What are you? Are you a god? Are you an angel? What are you? He said, I am awake. And when we are awake and we are mindful that our daily life is our temple and our religion, our daily life, and each and every one of us, we minister to something we're all ministers, whether it's to our plants or our pets or children or even grown children or grandchildren. Where thought goes, energy flows. And uh, my grandson was visiting Universal Studios and they came to visit me on the way back. And he said, oh, Mima, I wish there really was real magic. And I said, Tyler, there is real magic. You are magical. And every time we put this energy out there, we transform the routines of work into celebrations of life and love. We have that ability, that alchemical ability within us to transform our daily life. And when something comes up and we don't relate to it, you know, I always think, here's the paints, here's the brushes, you paint paradise and in you go. And if you paint something less than that, paint it out and paint something else in that uplifts you, that allows us to know that we're in the world, but we are of a higher vibrational frequency. And I love the you know, story of the, the two little frogs that accidentally they fell into the mountain park and on the farm. And they were trying to get out, and they were real pudgy. One said, oh, we're going to drown, and we're going to come to a terrible end. He says, no, let's just keep trying to get out. Let's just keep moving. Let's keep the action. Let's just keep trying to get out. And the large one said, oh, no, we're going to die a terrible death. I just feel it. I'm just going to let go and drown. And the, the, the other one just said, no, let's just keep going. Let's just keep knowing that we're going to, we're going to get out. And finally, the little pudgy frog let go and growled. You know what? The universe always says yes, doesn't it? He let go and drowned. And the little th the thinner one just kept going, and, and suddenly, gosh, there was something to stick to up. And what he created was butter. And he just hopped out of this milk pot that he had created. Butter that allowed him to move beyond his experience because he kept going. And when we keep moving through whatever it is, and there in our experience, realizing, yes, where thought goes, energy flows. But now is the only moment that we have to live, to laugh, to express, and to be all that we can be. This is the moment. And when we say, you know, I am, we better be very clear on what follows that because that creates our reality. There's a beautiful, beautiful legend that says, I was, I was speaking and fearing, and I was feeling the fear of the future and regretting the past. And I heard the voice of God. God was speaking. My name is I Am. When you live in the past with its mistakes and regrets, it is hard 
My name is not I was. My name is I am. When you live in the future with its fears and its imaginings, it is hard. I am not there. My name is I am. When you live in the present, I am there. My name is I am. And what we put after I am, we create. And I had a moment this weekend of feeling to skis and went into my affirmations. I am whole, perfect, and complete. Wherever dis-ease seems to be operating, the presence of God is. God in me, God as me, God is the only truth in me. Did I feel that? You know, I didn't feel it. I wasn't feeling it, but I kept repeating my affirmation. And I, you know, as I moved through this situation, and coming more closer to the other side, just saying, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God. And if we keep knowing the truth, whether we're feeling it or not, we build up a momentum and energy within us. And we speak to our higher self. Not the little human ego self that, oh, wow, I, you know, I'm going to be down for a week. I can feel it. Yet the universe says, what? Well, yes, you are. Yes, you are. But when we keep affirming the truth, that's what sets us free. Free from all this outer stuff that we can get so caught up in. And, you know, I do not have television. I have DVDs and documentaries and things I relate to. I also have things that I can go into CNN and I can see what's going on in the world. And, you know, if I don't think it's too much energy, I just go into prayer, knowing the truth for our country, for each other, that wherever upset and pain seems to be operating anywhere on the planet, the presence of God is. Wherever dis-ease seems to be operating anywhere on the planet, the presence of God is. Wherever upset seems to be operating anywhere on the planet, the presence of God is. God in us, God as us, God is the only truth of us. There's a lot of healing to do on the planet. A lot of stuff coming up, bubbling up to be addressed so that we can heal it. So we, you know, if we can't feel it, we can't heal it. So we've got to address it. That yes, it's not, it, this is something to be healed. We're not ostriches. We don't put our head in the sand. We do acknowledge what's going on. We are into social justice. We are into equality. We are into civil rights. We are into all the rights of gays and women and, and, and transgenders and all of this that comes up, bubbling up on the planet so that we can learn unconditional love. We, grab, we gather through our similarities, we grow through our differences. And I want you to know it's not about tolerating. Tolerating is a very low vibe frequency word. Oh yes, I'm, I'm, I'm tolerant. Well, goody on you, right? That is not going to make a difference. What makes a difference is, you know what? I accept that that works for you. I'm happy that that works for you. I think it's terrific that that works for you. And I may not relate to it, but if it works for you, that's fantastic. That's wonderful. If it works for me, that's wonderful. Someone recently said that they got 30 days notice and they've got to get out of their house and here all the snowbirds are coming back and, and, and there's no place really to rent and it's just sky high. It's just going to be impossible. And I said, you know, if you take the word impossible and you break it up, it says, I'm possible. So it looks like with man, it's impossible. And also the universe always says yes. So if we're putting it out there that it's impossible, we're not going to have the result that we need. We need to open the space and to know that with God, all things are possible. If we have that faith as a grain of mustard seed, and everyone last week that was here, they received an affirmation on the table, an affirmation card, and a mustard seed. And I, we still have them back there if you're here, and didn't, you weren't here and didn't receive one. And if you would like one, you can, uh, you can uh, private message us and we'll make sure that you get one. So energetically, if we have just that much faith, and I gave one to a friend this week, and she was celebrating her ninth anniversary of her very successful company. And I gave her this beautiful little, it's like a jewel jar. And she opened it up and she goes, 
oh, I can put my rings in there. I said, no, there's something in there. And she looked, she goes, little. I said, no, it's rolling more around you. Oh, I see. I said, it's a mustard seed. If we have that much faith, we say to this mountain, we say to this experience, we say to this problem, this challenge, well, it repents, and it does. Because with God, all things are possible. But with man, they are impossible. Because the snowbirds are coming, everything's being rented up. It's impossible. With man, it is impossible. But with God, our higher power, whatever we conceive our higher power to be, all things are possible. And so today, as we gather, we look at our own thoughts and to stop in midstream when we start to put that kind of energy out there and just to cancel it. And when we cancel that energy, we create a new opportunity to recreate our experience. This is why I love our way of life. And I remember one day we lived in Coronado. I came home and my daughter was in one of her teenage moods. We all know what that is. And uh, so we were not getting on. In fact, I was knocking at the door for her to unlock the door because I had forgotten my keys. So I said, I'm going to go out and I'm going to knock on the door again. And you are going to answer. And I think that we can do this differently. We can recreate our experience. So I went outside, I knocked on the door, and she goes, Mommy! <laughs> and we hugged. And we released that former energy. And in that moment, it all disappeared in the natural process of life itself because when we recreate our experience, it lifts the energy field to a much higher vibrational frequency that we can feel the joy of life. Joy being what? The most infallible sign of the presence of God. And if we are feeling joy, there's no way that ego can enter in. So today, as we look at the ancient Hawaiian wisdom, Una means secret. It's the secret science at work. It's always working. And the greater our awareness, the, you know, we become enlightened when we can feel it moving through us, that it's a natural process of life itself. At first, it feels uncomfortable. And the, the discomfort is it's unfamiliar. And then it gets more familiar. And when it gets more familiar, then it becomes second nature. We begin to dance with it. It begins to move through us in such a magnificent way. So today, we look at our thoughts and where they're going and how they're manifesting. And we also acknowledge the point of power is in the present moment. And that is a quote by Louise Hay. And I had invited Louise over to my home in San Diego. And we were in the jacuzzi. And I was sharing with her about someone in our ministry that actually uh, confiscated some money and, you know, she listened, you know, very intently. And she said, you weren't paying attention. And it was very, very true, because if we look at where thought goes, and it's this whole attention thing. And we need to be discerning in our lives and trustworthy, but also acknowledge that as we're discerning, then there is an energy that the universe supports us in taking responsibility for our organization. And so, you know, I thought about, you know, paying attention. And when Clayton talked about the Reverend Dr. Father Gita, who was the founder of Madonna University in Nigeria, and when 25,000 students were kind of talking amongst themselves, he would just yell out, pay attention! And I mean, in a booming, booming voice. <laughs> and everything got up everyone's attention. And as we pay attention, and we pay attention to our thoughts, and we pay attention to what we give energy to, and the more energy we give to what's working, that which is not working is going to fade back to its native nothingness from whence it came. And if we're feeling dis-ease, and we're not feeling good, and we're feeling a lower energy vibe, rather, you know, that you know, to acknowledge, yes, something's going on here, I will, you know, take the cue and rest and regenerate, recreate, and know that I am whole, perfect, and complete. I am in balance, even when I'm feeling it right, and keep affirming the truth, 
so that the moment that we have this breakthrough, that the energy can move through us because it's all about energy. Life is energy. Everything is energy. And relationships are energy. And the more good energy we put into our relationships, the greater the love, the deepening of that experience. And some of us are like, you know, we're two little frogs in the, in the milk bucket. And the one little frog, we just know what he's going to get out. He's visualizing and he's trying to help the other one. But we cannot help anyone beyond their willingness to be supported and helped. So as the one let go and drown, the other created but and hopped right out of that pail because he knew within himself, this Esau's fable, <laughs> that he could lead this experience and that he was saved. And to be saved within our way of life is to know who we are, that we are created in the image and likeness of God, that there, as our humanness gives way to the divine, the Christ consciousness arises triumphant and victorious. And when Jesus said, be of good cheer, I have overcome. I have overcome all the things that I've given my power away to. I've overcome all these conditions that show up. I've overcome these appearances that I give my power away to. I have overcome all of these things. Be of good cheer. I have overcome. So today, let us be of good cheer. Let us overcome what's in the immediate energy and acknowledge that we can transform these, this energy, these routines of work into celebrations of life and love. That the manawa, the living in the present moment, to acknowledge this is the only moment we have. And that when we're regretting, you know, we're living in, we're, we're living in fear of the future and regretting the past, to listen to the still small voice of God. That when you live, in the past, with its mistakes and regrets, it's harder. I am not there. My name is not I was. My name is I am. When you live in the future, with its fears and its imaginings, it is harder. I am not there. My name is not I will be. My name is I am. But when you live in the present, I am there. My name is I am. And so it is. We're all going somewhere today. Where is that? Higher yet. Where are we going? Higher yet. Where are we going? Higher yet. Because we are in a high place and we will not come down. None of these outer things move us. Because we are in a high place will not come down. I say namaste. The God in me celebrates the God in you, and the God in me celebrates the God in me. I say shalom, the peace that passes all understanding. And God bless us, every one. And so it is. I love you, and I bless you, and I think it's great we're all here together. So it is.